Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down and make sure that you're completely comfortable. Make sure that the pillow is right underneath your head and you're laying in a comfortable, snuggly position. Are we ready? Okay. Evan was a little boy that had a walk-in wardrobe in his bedroom. That walk-in wardrobe was no ordinary space. It was big enough for him to walk inside, sit down on the floor, close the door, and go into a whole other world. You see, to everyone else in the house, it was just an ordinary space. It held his clothes, it did its thing as a wardrobe, and that was about it. But Evan used his walking wardrobe to visit Evantron. He would go inside, he would close the door, he would sit down, close his eyes, and everything would change. There would be loud noises similar to an aeroplane starting up its engines, but this was no aeroplane that Evan was in. It was a rocket ship, a rocket ship with one destination. It was going to Evan's planet. Eventron. Eventron was light years away, and the only way to get there was in Evan's rocket. It took him ten seconds. Ten seconds to fly there. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Evan would always feel the same thing a shaking and a rumbling, and then a steadiness as if the rocket ship had landed. He had an orange bodysuit that had the moon emblem across his chest. But the moon emblem had swirls and planets and stars all around it. And then underneath it, it said, Captain of Evertron. He wore a space helmet and big heavy boots to help him walk. The door to the rocket would open. The steps would automatically pull down onto the ground there in front of him and he'd walk down. And every single time he landed on Evertron, it was the same. Yay! 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 He would hear from all different directions hundreds of different directions. All of the tiny little people that lived on Eventron would be there to greet him every single time. These tiny little people were known as Baby Evans. They were just like him, but miniature, baby size. But these babies could walk and run and play. They were super, super cute, and they were 100 of them living on Eventron. 
planet Evertron was full of baby Evans, just like Captain Evertron, but tiny and super cute. Every single one of those babies there on Eventron were named Evan. Sometimes it would get a little bit confusing because they were all named the same thing, but somehow they managed to understand each other and when Captain Eventron would give them orders or talk to them, they somehow figured out which one he was talking to and which one was supposed to answer him. It was one big family, 100 baby Evans. On Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, they all had fun days. Their favourite things to do were play soccer. Captain Evertron was a very good goalie and he would save all the goals that the babies would try and attempt to make. And then he would teach them how to do a better job at trying to score a goal. They had so much fun playing soccer. It was a big game because, after all, there were 100 baby Evans all playing soccer together. But they always did the same thing. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays were fun days. And then, on Mondays... Wednesdays and Saturdays, Captain Evan Tron would teach them responsible things. Babies, after all, need to learn all the different things like being respectful, being responsible, being sensible. Not every day is a Tuesday, Thursday or Sunday fun day. Sometimes... On Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, the babies had to learn how to be more grown up. He would teach them different things and pretend that he was in different scenarios with them and they would have to talk to him as if he was a grown adult. And they would learn how to be calm and how to be sensible and how to be behaved when they have to around adults or if they're in a sensible situation like school or things like that. Captain Eventron was a very good dad to all of those little babies. All of those babies Baby Evans needed a place to live. And Captain Eventron built them a home. He was very, very smart and good at maths. And he calculated all the sizes and shapes and designs. And he built them the biggest, bestest looking home that fit every single one of those 100 baby Evans. They all had a bed. They all shared bathrooms. They all had one big giant living area where they would hang out and do games and paint and draw and have fun and exercise and all of the wonderful things that they needed to do. He made sure that home had everything in it. To get around on Eventron, Captain Evan had a space car. The space car was beyond anything you can imagine. You would get inside. There were no buttons, no knobs, no places for a key. All that there were was a screen a screen there in front of his face and he drove the space car with his mind. He turned it on just by thinking about the car to start. He turned the car off just by thinking of the car to stop. 
He went left when his mind told the car to go left, and he went right when his mind told the car to go right, and he went fast when he wanted the car to go fast, and the space car even flew. If he needed to get from one side of Eventron to the other side of Eventron very quickly, just in case one of the baby Evans needed him, or one of them were in danger, or one of them got hurt, he would think about the car rising off the floor of the planet. It would lift up and it would fly faster than the speed of light to wherever one of the tiny little baby Evans were in danger or where they were hurt or if they needed him. He would get out of his space car and instantly turn into Dr. Eventron rather than Captain Eventron because he could do everything there. He took care of them. He made sure that they stayed well and fed and if any of them got hurt he bandaged them up and fixed them and loved them. Captain Eventron, Dr. Eventron was amazing. He loved his planet and he loved those babies. All 100 babies, baby Evans. Now, how cool is that? Now, if you haven't done so already, I'd like you to close your eyes. It's been a long day, Evan. And I'm sure you're super tired looking after all of those tiny little cute baby Evans. They must be a lot of work. But you are so kind and sweet and loving and you do such a good job looking after those babies in your magical wardrobe when you visit Eventron. It's a very special secret place and no one knows about it but you. But to go to Eventron tomorrow, you have to rest tonight. Otherwise you'd be super, super sleepy and tired all day long. And then your imagination won't work properly. And then you won't be able to get in your rocket in your wardrobe and fly to Eventron if you're too tired. So, with your eyes closed, let's start to get relaxed. It's time to let your body start to slow down, become sleepy, and heavy. Think about your body relaxing into your bed. Use your mind and tell your feet to go to sleep. It's time to get heavy and go to sleep. Use your mind and tell your legs, go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. Let your legs get heavy and sleepy. There we go. Good job, Evan. You can use your mind if you want to as the rest of your body starts to get very, very sleepy. Use your mind and imagine that you're starting to float, flying through the stars. Go 
going higher and higher and higher, flying all around the different planets, all throughout the universe, flying faster than the speed of light through the stars, the planets, even through different dimensions and worlds and places and time. Relax your body. Relax your arms. Flying higher and higher. Gliding through the air a big giant rocket traveling through space and time let your head get very very heavy and sleepy so comfortable now you're very comfortable and relaxed Such a good doctor, such a good daddy, looking after all of those baby Evans. It's time to sleep now so that you can look after them tomorrow.